It's a very nice case. I'm going to give you guys the show you the details of this case and uh, kind of just talk about this. Welcome to another video review brought to you by BuyMeAnIPhone.com. I'm Omar C, and the product I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is the Shinori Leather Flip Case for the iPhone 3G, okay? So I'm going to show you guys the close-ups of this case and the details, and we're going to do that on the other camera right now. Alright guys, so here is the packaging that the uh, leather flip case comes in. Pretty nice box. As you can see there, it has a, the, neck, the neck wrap and the wrist wrap. There's a little, the other little leather uh, hook piece in there. Let's pop this open and let me show you what comes inside. So obviously we have the, the case right there. Okay. And then those other those other things I showed you in the back already. So I'm not gonna mess with those, put this to the side. So inside the case you will receive a, a screen protector and a cleaning cloth. And the uh, little uh, the hook. The middle hook that you use to connect those uh, the wristband and the, the, the neck strap to. And I got the uh, chrome version of it, but you can get a different one like that. So there's the uh, cleaning cloth and the, the screen protector. Pretty decent, pretty nice. It's always nice when co case companies slip that in there. So let's put that to the side. So let me go ahead and show you the close-ups of this this case, this product. It is pretty nice. The leather work is real good. It definitely smells like real leather. See the close-up, see the stitching. So uh, just like the other Shinori case I've reviewed already, this case is completely customizable. Okay, so you can click, you can uh, you can select the color of leather, you can select the color of the stitching on the outside, you can select the color of the logo, and of the hardware that goes on here, or the accessories as it puts in. So uh, like obviously for this one we got the uh, the different uh, the different straps that came with right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop in the iPhone. Let's show you how it all looks. So it goes in this way. And you basically just put the top, those top pieces in there. I mean, it does have felt on, in the inside there. You can see that. That's soft felt. Well, it's not going to scratch the back of the phone up. It does have these hooks right here that it kind of hooks into. And um, they're pretty hard plastic. Uh, it kind of makes me a little nervous snapping it in there. And these pieces, these back hooks right here, you kind of have to like, snap your, uh, your, uh, your iPhone into place. Let me show you. Kind of like pops in there. So I'm not sure if you do that all the time, if it would start to scratch the beveled edge there of the plastic, but hey, it's not that big of a deal. But I know some of you guys are really like uh, hardcore when it comes to scratching up your iPhone. So so that's that. Let's close up the case. Let me show you just how it looks. Everything looks when it's uh, closed up. So we got the standby switch, the headphone jack. Really easy to get to. Doesn't It's a nice big opening for the headphone in case you have bigger headphones. Should be no problem. Now the, uh, the side switches are kind of covered up there. You can see them, but you can't really get to them because the air opening is so small. You can probably mess with the volume if you need to, but you won't be able to see it. So obviously you'd probably pop this off to see what the volume is setting is at. But you can't really flip the silent switch that easily. I mean, you can kind of get your finger in there a little bit. There you go. So, I mean, you would probably end up just popping it open to do that. Not a big deal, but it's something that, you know, I want to point out. The whole bottom section is closed up, so you do have to open this up to, to uh, dock it or connect it to charge it up. And it does have the slits in there, so you can't hear if the ringer is ringing for the uh, speaker. And on the back side, we do have the camera hole. It's pretty good. It lines up fine. And so when you open it up, like I showed you earlier, the, everything is basically exposed. The whole front face of the iPhone is, is exposed, which kind of makes me a little nervous because even the beveled edge is exposed. It's only being held into the, by the corners. So you definitely won't have any, any issues when it comes to like having, you know, those of you that don't like having cases that have the, the side lips on there. It's basically, there's nothing there on the sides at all. It's just being pinched in there on the, on the corners. Interesting design, then the flip does flip from the bottom, so you will be, if you talk on it, the, the bottom flap will be open unless you fold it back. If you do fold it back, you will cover up the camera, for those of you that, I don't know, some people make a big deal about that, or you'll just have to hold it like this. And it does have that little hook right here, which I showed you earlier. That's, this is what you hook on the, uh, the wrist strap, the neck strap, or if you just want to use the hook, and maybe hook it to your purse or your belt loop, I guess you could do that too, if you want to use the, uh, the included uh, little accessory hook right there, okay? So overall guys, the quality of this is pretty nice. The outer shell of here is, it seems kind of flimsy. I was expecting, I mean, it, it feels like, uh, I hate to say it, but like cardboard almost. It's real flimsy and thin. There's not, it's not plastic, definitely not plastic in there. It feels like hardcore, like, um, like 
uh, like cardboard, I guess. Um, this back shell is really hard, though. This is really hard leather. Whatever this is wrapped in, maybe it's wrapped in ra leather wrapped in plastic, but this is this is really hard. So this piece is a little floppy, a little a little soft. Um, but it is closed. It will probably stay on there pretty well. It does have magnets in those top corners. That's what those little those little circle pieces are those metal pieces, and the magnets are built into here. So you do close it. It does stay kind of closed. The magnets aren't super strong though, so you know it doesn't take too much to pop it open. But they are that, and that is what keeps it closed. So overall, it's a pretty nice case, guys. This case retails for $65, which is a little expensive. But uh, keep in mind, like I said before, this is a completely customizable case, so you can choose all the different colors for that. So there's other case makers out there that make customizable cases that are way more expensive than $65. So in that essence, uh, maybe it's worth the money to you. Um, for the average person, I don't think they're going to want to spend that much money on a case, $65 bucks for their iPhone. But that's just me. That's me talking and me guessing. So... You guys let me know what you think. If you uh, if you actually own the Shinori leather flip case, go ahead and post a comment on YouTube or on buymeaniphone.com. Let me know, uh, let me and everybody else know what you think about this case. And since you've been using it longer than I have probably, give us your two cents, okay? So that's going to be it for today, guys. This is another video review brought to you by buymeaniphone.com. Thanks for watching.